Freddie Goudreau brings it across the Flyers line. Rinkwad pass, tape to tape to Sundquist. Behind the net, broken up by Sanhat. Travis Sanhat banks one to Van Riemsdyk. Sanhat continues out in front. Score! Able to put it past Mark Andre Fleury. A terrific rush by Sanhat. And here at home, the Flyers strike first. And when he's confident, He's using those legs. He's able to chip the puck to a space where he's able to retrieve it. A terrific backhand feed over to Scott Lawton. And Lawton able to elevate this puck. Waiting for it is Duhame. Centers one. That shot whistles just wide by Sundquist. Kept alive at the left point by Middleton. Gets a return. That drive. Tip. Score! Sundquist in front. The redirect off the drive by Middleton. It may be a substandard period overall so far for Minnesota, but now they've got the equalizer with just under three and a half to go. Against the John Tortorella team that does such a good job blocking shots. There's a little rotation up top, and there's Sunquist. Good job with pressure, creating chances like this. Two on one, tip it, a drop, cross shoot, save made by Fleury, and the rebound ends up behind the net. Tip it first to the puck in the right wing corner. And now the Flyers go to work. This was where the pressure was put on in the first period as they caused a lot of traffic down low. That shot's A tip in front. Faraby deflects it home. And the Flyers again. Pressure in the offensive zone. They've got the lead back. Exactly what the Flyers are, have been doing in the first period. And then possession, puck possession, hang on to it. A terrific job here in the corner by Morgan Frost to work it up top and then like the Sunquist goal, where there's terrific hand-eye coordination. Once again, we see it. York getting the puck to the net. Something that Tortorella said has been happening more often. Hart leads it behind the net. Chris Malinen snaps it around the wall. Past Middleton. And with speed, Allison leans in. Allison to the backhand. Stop by Flurry. And the rebound floats through the blue paint to the right corner. Behind Flurry. Haynes and Tippett. Work it free. Tip it with that centering pass intended for Faraby, but Erickson Eck was there. An outlet to Johansson. He brings it across, finds the trailer. Boldy shoots. Score! Matt Boldy ties the game as he picks the corner. And he remains red hot in the absence of Kirill Kaprizov. He just keeps on scoring goals. Can he rip a puck or what? Doing the job right. Joel Erickson Eck in his own zone. Watch here as he. Is able to get back to the house, intercept this pass from Owen Tippett, and from there, the transition play happens. Rista Linen steps in, tries to intercept early, doesn't yeah. happen, and then the separation for Boldy, and boy, oh boy, can he absolutely rip a puck. He has been hot. He's feeling it. He's got eight already in March, and the month It's only about two-thirds of the way through. Makes you wonder, too, Boosh, if, it, if it's worth. Here's a shot. Scott! And the Wild take the lead with 144 to go in the second as Marcus Foligno lights the left. Points to his goaltender because he knows his goaltender kept him in the in the game in this period. The Wild able to corral this puck on the rush. And this is one that I think Hart would like to have back. I think Hart's there on time. I think it goes right through his arm right there. And after the Wild scored two goals, two minutes and 35 seconds apart to take the lead. The Flyers with a power play here at the end of the second period. Faraby back to the point, Ristolainen. Point to point, it goes to D'Angelo. Ristolainen, one-time drive. We are tied at three as the Flyers strike with the man advantage. You're going to see they try to force down the wall here, and there's normally a switch. But instead, it doesn't happen. Mason Shaw's confused. And that opens up the shot from the point on the entry. You're right. It's back-to-back -back shifts now. Let's see if Minnesota can build on it. This is an area they're comfortable playing in. These one-goal games, these tight games, late in the third. Johansson out in front. Redirected on net and hard. A terrific stop as Goudreau was cutting right into the middle of the crease. Well, we talked about Minnesota back-to-back -back good shifts from their third and fourth line. And 
Thank you, Linda. It's a good doubleheader tonight. We're off to a good start, tied at three. Coming up on six and a half minutes to go. Gumba keeps it deep. Move to Johansson in the corner. The Wild keep the pressure on. Long shot by Brodine. Deflected in on Hart. On the rebound, score! The Wild take the lead with 6.28 to go. Boldy on the doorstep creating havoc. And Minnesota has a one goal advantage. And this is why the rebound was a problem for Carter Hart to handle. What a play by Boldy to score on the back end. How about that, Boosh? Blind. No look. No look. Right between the legs. Incredible stuff from Boldy there. And again, you know, Marcus Johansson, we've, used, we've talked about him all night long. He's been involved in the offense. He's the one gets his eyes up. And this line continues to produce offensively with Boldy, Erickson, Eck, and Johansson. It's, it's been remarkable. It makes you wonder, Boosh, too. Johansson's a guy that's been moved at the deadline a lot over the last five years. Been on one-year deals. Orster moves in. Shoots. The equalizer for the Flyers. Orster rips a wrister. And Philadelphia responds again. We're tied at four. I remember he missed it out on a shot. I couldn't believe how hard he shoots the puck. And it's with very little windup. Forts are here. They give him goal. And I, from the angle. And, I mean, look, this is a, an area of the ice that you think the goaltender should be able to come up with a save, but when you when you rip it as hard as Forster does it. And Minnesota right now trying to stay with Dallas at top the central and looking for that extra point. And they will control to begin overtime. The Wild trying to get control of the puck with a minute 13 to go. A takeaway by Ristolainen. Moves in, shoots it. Johansson with speed, moves in to the forehand, puts it through the blue paint. And it looks like we are headed to a shootout here in Philadelphia. Tied at four at the end of overtime. Forster to begin the shootout. Deliberately across the line. On the forehand. Shoot, save made by Fleury. Now the veteran James Van Riemsdyk gets an opportunity for the Flyers. He'll start wide. And on Fleury to the backhand scores. I try to go to the blocker side there as he moved from from Van Riemsdyk's right to left. It looks like he was anticipating the low blocker shot. Right there's the fake. Boldy to try and keep the game alive for Minnesota. Moves in on Hart. Save made by Hart. 